Hello and welcome to this video on the use of face mask in COVID-19 crisis. The Center for Disease Control CDC in US has recommended everyone to wear some kind of face mask whenever they are in public. Now this has been endorsed by various other organizations in the world as well as some states and governments around the world are making it mandatory to wear face mask whenever people are in public. However, there are so many unanswered questions regarding the use of face masks in public. For example, which face masks to use? When should we use them? How effective are these? And so on. So today we will discuss five basic questions regarding the use of face masks in this COVID-19 crisis. First, let's look at these five questions that we will address today. So let's take the first question. Why face masks are important in the fight against COVID-19? Well, COVID-19 is a respiratory virus and it spread mostly due to droplet transmission. Now these are small droplets that come out of our mouth when we sneeze, cough, or even when we breathe and talk. Now typically these droplets don't go beyond six feet. That is where the recommendation of social distancing of six feet come from. But when we sneeze or cough, these droplets can travel much more distance. Moreover, recent studies are suggesting that even during normal breathing and talking, these droplets can travel all the way up to eight to 10 feet. And in that circumstances, social distancing of six feet may not work. And that's where the mask may be very helpful. Now, the reality is, even if these droplets don't travel beyond six feet, the social distancing of six feet may work in most situations, but definitely don't work in all the situation. For example, if you're going to grocery shopping or any store, you don't always control the life situation and other person coming in close contact with you. And that is where also having mask will give you some additional protection. Another point is that now we know that airborne transmission of COVID-19 is possible, which basically means that the virus can remain suspended in air for up to three hours. Now, in this situation, social distancing may be unnecessary, but not sufficient because even if you maintain social distance, if the virus could remain suspended in air for up to three hours in an environment, then again, you need some additional form of protection. Again, that's where the mask may be very useful. The third and the most important point is that now we know that about 25 to 50% of infection could be asymptomatic. That means a person may not even know that he or she is infected and may continue their business as usual while infecting other people. Therefore, although social distancing and hand washing is great, but we need additional form of protection to prevent the spread of infection and that could come in the form of mask. Second question is, what are some different types of face masks available? There are three main types of face masks available. The best is N95 or respirator mask that is fit and seal tested. These are considered gold standard of personal protective equipment or PPE as they filter 95% of the droplets carrying virus. Now, these are typically used by healthcare professionals when they are taking care of a highly infected person or when they are in a highly infected environment. And therefore, these should be reserved for healthcare professionals taking care of COVID-19 infection. Second are surgical or medical masks. These are common masks that doctors and nurses commonly use during surgeries as well as during regular care of patients to prevent the spread of regular infections such as flu. Now, these masks are considered inferior to N95 in case of COVID-19, but they're still highly effective. And the effectiveness actually depends also on how good is the facial seal as well as how good is the compliance of wearing it. These medical or surgical masks should be prioritized for healthcare worker, or any other frontline worker who might uh, come in contact with COVID-19 patient or family members of COVID-19 patients uh, because of the shortage, generally global shortage of these masks. So they should be prioritized only for these individuals. 
The third type of mask is homemade cloth mask, which is meant to protect other people when the person who's wearing is himself or herself is infected. Overall, these masks are inferior to N95 and medical or surgical mask in protecting the individual who's wearing it from the COVID-19 infection. That is why these are not recommended for healthcare workers as well as frontline workers who might be in touch with COVID-19 patients. But these cloth masks are very effective in preventing the spread of infection from an infected person. In other words, if I am wearing a face mask, a homemade face mask, I may not spread infection to someone else. However, it does not protect me from getting an infection if someone else is not wearing the face mask and they are infected. In general, finer weave, more layers and a better fit gives better results. But remember, any type of homemade cloth mask or simple covering the face with any type of cloth is better than no mask. Also, cloth face mask should not be placed in any children under age of 2. Next is how should we properly use and reuse the mask. Now I will show you how to put on and take off your mask properly. Before you put on your mask, you must first sanitize your hands. Then hold the mask with the string. Never touch the front or the back of the mask as much as possible. Outside of the mask is considered dirty. So always mark the outside of the mask so you know which side is outside and which side is inside in case you need to reuse the mask. Then use the string to put on the mask. Now you need to secure the mask using the top of the mask. After wearing the mask, again use the sanitizer to clean your hands. Never put the mask under your chin. Now to take off the mask, simply use the strings attached and either discard the mask or put it in the paper bag if you intend to reuse it. Next, I will show you how to put on and take off N95 mask. You can hold the N95 mask from outside. Never touch the inside of the mask. Now, simply put the mask on your face and pull the strings on the top of it. Secure the mask from the top on the nose and on your face. To take off the mask, simply put your hands and pull the strings over the over your hands. Now, if you intend to reuse your N95 mask, then I will advise a slightly different strategy. Use a clean container to put the mask in and hold it like this. Next, put the mask on your face with the container. Use your other hand to pull the strings over your head. Then secure your mask. Now to take off the mask, simply do the reverse. Put the container on the top of the mask like this and then pull the strings. Next, we will talk about how to reuse these masks. Now, I want to tell you, ideally, in a normal situation, we never reuse N95 or surgical mask. It's one-time use. Once you've used it, you're supposed to throw it away. But we are not in normal times. We are in a pandemic situation with acute shortage of masks. So, how can we reuse the mask four or five times at least so that we can preserve these masks? Cloth mask is simple to reuse. You can simply wash it with a detergent and water and it's ready to be reused. The surgical and the N95 mask are a little difficult to be reused. And I would only recommend two simple methods to you on the reuse of these masks. First, to simply have four of these masks and rotate it on daily basis for four days. After each use, put these masks in a separate paper bag and secure it. Next day, wear a different mask and so on for four days. After you have cycled through four masks, you can then go back to your first mask again. A simple logic behind this strategy is that COVID-19 
does not stay in the dry conditions for more than 72 hours. <clears throat> the second method is simply hanging the N95 mask using a clip in an oven. Heat the oven to 70 to 80 degrees Celsius or to 165 to 185 Fahrenheit for more than half an hour. Alternatively, you can put the mask in a paper bag and then put it in a glass container to be put in the oven for more than half an hour at 70 to 80 degrees Celsius. Next, what is the evidence that the mask helps? Regarding the evidence, let me start with the story of a patient from Chongqing, China in January 2020. This person had infection with COVID-19 but was unaware of his own infection. He takes two bus travel. In the first bus travel, he does not wear mask and travels for one to two hours in the bus and it ended up infecting five other passengers in the bus. In the second travel, he buys a face mask and then travel. And during the course of another one hour, he did not infect any of the other bus passengers. So this story is a clear example of how if we wear mask all the time, whether we know we are infected or not, it's going to decrease the spread of infection. Next, the best scientific evidence also comes from Wuhan, China. In this study, basically high risk departments of some hospitals were given N95 mask in early days of January 2020. And what they observed that when the high risk department uh, doctors and nurses wore the N95 mask, none of them got infected. Whereas the lowest department who were not wearing the mask, many of the doctors and nurses got infected. In fact, up to 5% of a low risk um, department got infected. Now, there are many other studies in which uh, N95 mask was compared with the medical mask or surgical mask. Now, these were not on COVID-19 patients. These were on influenza or flu uh, patients itself. However, all of those studies demonstrated that overall medical or surgical masks can come close to N95 mask if used properly. However, I would like to point you a particular study that was published in JAMA last year. This study was a randomized controlled trial, which by the way, is the highest level of scientific evidence. In this study, they compared N95 respirator versus medical mask. They showed there was no significant difference in the rate of influenza or flu infection when doctors and nurses wore N95 respirator mask versus medical mask. However, this study was done in outpatient setting and we know that in outpatient department, the risk of infection is far less as compared to COVID-19 wards or inpatient setting. As well as this study was on influenza or flu infection and we know that COVID-19 is far more infectious than flu or influenza. Nevertheless, the study provides critical evidence that surgical or medical masks should be used when N95 masks are not available by healthcare professional. Although I would say N95 masks should be must for the doctors and nurses in ICU and other wards who are directly exposed to COVID-19 patients. But However, Homemade cloth masks should not be worn by healthcare professionals taking care of COVID-19 patients or healthcare professionals even in a lower risk setting. We know this from a randomized controlled trial, again the highest level of evidence from Vietnam, which clearly showed that when the doctors wore cloth mask as compared to uh, N95 uh, mask or medical mask, that was significantly inferior and many of them got infected because they were at a highest risk for COVID-19 infection. Next question is, should we use mask all the time at all the places? If you are going to any kind of closed spaces such as grocery shopping, pharmacy, uh, store or any kind of offices or even your work environment, you should wear mask nowadays. Now, if you have an access to surgical or medical mask, perhaps you can wear that, that would be nice. However, a home-based cloth mask, which is multi-layered, is good enough. If you are at home and there's no one in your home or family member that you're in contact with, um, is quarantined or suspected to have COVID-19 infection or is sick in general, then you don't need to wear mask at home. 
if you're going to open spaces and can adequately maintain six to eight feet of social distancing, perhaps you don't absolutely need to wear masks. However, the fact is that even in open spaces, especially in big cities, it is not possible to maintain good and adequate social distancing of six to eight feet all the time. So therefore, I would still recommend that whenever possible, even in open spaces, to wear masks. The idea behind everyone wearing the mask all the time is that if the whole community wear the mask all the time, that will definitely lead to decrease in the rate of transmission of the infection itself. We have evidence from the countries like Hong Kong and South Korea before and after they instituted the policy of everyone wearing the mask all the time or public started wearing the mask all the time. The rates of infection were significantly less when everybody wore the mask as compared to the time when people were not wearing masks regularly. Masking is of particular importance as the economy opens up and businesses start to run again. In that case, the social distancing will be very difficult to maintain and masking may provide an additional benefit to decrease the rate of infection. Last but not the least, I want to give you my recommendation to prevent COVID-19 infection from spreading. Everyone, you and me, needs to do at least three things. One is maintaining social distance. Second is wearing masks. But the third very important part is also constant and frequent hand washing. However, unlike hand washing and social distancing, masking doesn't protect me unless everyone in my community or my city is doing so. So not only that we need to practice masking, we need to also recommend it to our community, neighbors, friends and family. Organizations, big and small, can also play a significant role in this. They can institute a local policy of no mask, no service or no mask, no entry in the store and so on. That will definitely uh, make people wear masks all the time and definitely decrease the rate of infection. In the end, I want to make an appeal to all of you to please subscribe to my channel because that helps me to make these videos for patient information and education. Thank you.